Hi there, everyone. This is darkside 2 k 7 aka Sonic Sky Chaser. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday and everything, and I know you can't wait for Thursday Night Football. Woo -woo. Well, anywho, I'm not going to talk about football, because I'm talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, case. Well, in a shocking turn of events, and like I said, should saw this. I saw this one coming from a fucking mile away. The judge, the judge in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, has decided to ha have managed to came out today and said that they have banned MSNBC from the courtroom. Yes, the fake news network itself, or as people like to call it, the MSDNC. The MSDNC, man. Because, you know, that, that web, because, you know, let's be fair, that network, they will do nothing but to sell, the, but to sell, uh, Democrats for whatever bullshit they want, and they want to, bl want to attack people if they don't fit a fucking political opinion. This one is no, so, see this, this is no surprise. I'm reading this from Fox, I mean, I'm reading this from Fox News, so, so, let me read this, okay? <clears throat> go Fox Kyle Rittenhouse judge bans bans MSNBC for courtroom after person accused of trailing jury bus judge Bruce Schroeder briefly addressed incident under investigation by the Kenosha police the Wisconsin judge presiding over the case against Kyle Rittenhouse on Thursday banned staff from MSNBC from entering the Kenosha courthouse for the remainder of the trial in a brief statement before the court Thursday, Judge Bruce Schroeder addressed the incident in which a person who identifies himself as an employee for the MSNBC allegedly followed a sealed bus with blocked out windows as it left the courthouse to transfer jurors to an undisclosed location. I have instructed that no one from MSNBC News will be permitted in this building for the duration of this trial, Schroeder said. This is a very serious matter and I don't want... And I don't know what the ultimate truth of it is, but absolutely it would go without much thinking that someone would, who is following the jury bus, that it's an extremely serious matter and will be referred to the proper authorities for their action. The man spotted following the bus identified himself as James J. Morrison, and he told investigators he was instructed to follow the vehicle, Schroeder added. The judge said Morrison claimed to be working under the supervisor of the MSNBC producer based in New York. Last night, a freelancer issued a traffic citation. While the traffic violation took place near the jury bus, freelance, the freelancer never contacted or attended to contact the jurors during the racing and never photographed or attended to photograph them. We regret the incident and will fully cooperate with the authorities of any investigation. An NBC spokesperson told Fox News. Bullshit. Bullshit. The Kenosha Police Department said in a tweet Thursday, last night a person who is alleged to be affiliated with the national media outlet was briefly taken to custody and issued several traffic-related citations. Police suspected suspect this person was trying to photograph the jurors. Yes, that's what it is. This person was trying to photograph the jurors, and then MSNBC was going to post those photos on their network so they so that they could try to scare the jurors to, in order to get the verdict they wanted because at the end of the day they don't want they don't want Kyle Rittenhouse to go let's be real let's be real about this whole situation with the whole Kyle Rittenhouse trial it's not about Kyle Rittenhouse getting free no whether he's guilty or not and I think he's gonna be he'll be getting off because you know he was it was self-defense it's self-defense on here because in the fucked up media minds, they want Kyle, they want Kyle Rittenhouse guilty so that they can say you can't defend yourself against the mob anymore. You're supposed to let them do whatever the fuck they want, and that's not and that's not real journalism. The incident is being investigated much further. Police added, there was no breach of security regarding the jury, nor were there any photographs obtained. This investigation remains active and open. No further information. Yeah, this is some bullshit, man. This is some fucking bullshit. Because I feel like... Because I feel like this is a perfect... Even one person said it in this comment. A perfect example of what society as a whole has come down to. Gotcha moments captured live on camera is the order of the day. The more sensational, the better. MSNBC put these... Ju MSNBC... MSNBC, uh... Put these jurors... 
trying to get. But yeah, basically that's what it is. This is what MSNBC was going to try to do with these photos is that they was going to use these fucking photos to. They was going to use these fucking photos that's posted up there so they could get motherfuckers on from BLM and stupid ass Twitter to try to dox them. Jury intimidation. Or jury in intimidation. Because cause in their minds, they want, they don't, they don't care about the truth. They never care about the truth. They never had. They never will be. All they care about is like, they want, they, all they fucking care about is that they want their they want their way, man? That's not how societies work. That's not how society should work. But to these, but to these motherfuckers, these idiots out here in the mainstream media, they just, they don't fucking care. They just want everything to be to go their way. That's it. And man, really, and, and besides, no surprise. And you know, I you know what I also find. I also find it very fucking funny how the media was trying to prove every how the media got pissed off that Donald Trump calls them fake news, and lo and fucking behold, all they're doing is proving Trump right every single fucking day. I mean, you really hate to see it. Not really. Not really. You really don't really hate to see this. You just love to see this shit going down. But anywho, but you know they just keep they just keep it up digging their holes, man. And also, that's a new uh, a contributor at at MSNBC. They got called. A person got called out. I forgot her name. Don't care who she is, but she got called out for saying that the trucking industry is 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 full of is major is full of white of white truckers who voted for Trump. Where one comment, where one commenter came out on Twitter and said, 47.1 percent, 47.1 percent of truckers who drove trucks are minorities. They deliver and they deliver all the goods except bullshit, and that's what MSNBC always sells, man. MSNBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, all they spout and all they sell is fucking. Bullshit! These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers are nothing but assholes. They're the enemy of the, they're the enemy of the people. Like Trump said, like Trump said, they're not after him. They're after us. He was in the way, and once they got, and once they got rid of Trump out of his way, and once they got Trump out of their way, they're coming after us. Plain and simple, because at the end of the day, they don't care about anyone but themselves. The the fucking elites and the fucking socialist democrats. That's all. The, that's all there is. They care about the. Tr they don't give a fuck about the truth. Oh yeah, they don't care about the truth as long as they twist it to benefit them, not us. But anywho, that's all for now. But I would like to know what you think of this situation. As always. Be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, sign up for friends, serve your neighbors, sit, do whatever, as always. Until next time, this is Darkstar2K7, aka Sonic Sky Teacher, signing off. Catch y'all later. Peace. Congratulations, congratulations, MSNBC. Y'all just, all you did is just keep proving Trump right every single fucking day, and you have, and you still kept doing it without learning, without any realization whatsoever. Fuck you, MSNBC. Fuck all y'all.